On entering the Impact Centre in Sirencester, you would think these children are just enjoying a weekly youth club. But these young people are in fact full-time carers for a family member. Once a week, they come to the Gloucestershire Young Carers Group to get away from their adult responsibilities and just be children for a few hours. But the group is under threat of closure. The groups are absolutely essential for our young carers. This is where they come to take a break from their caring roles at home, uh, where they basically put their lives on pause, um, all the challenges that they've got in the family, and come here and just be young people rather than young carers. We get a, a considerable amount of money for a lot of our services um, from county council, from city councils, and also from um, trust funds such as Comic Relief or Children in Need. However, the one area of our funding where, which is not secure is the funding that comes to groups such as Sire Sister Group. We are working hand to mouth. Every penny that I bring in just keeps that group going for another few months. And if we can raise an amount of money that will keep them going to the end of the financial year, then great. But then we're looking to the next year. It is believed that one in 12 secondary school aged children is a young carer, with 6,000 young carers in Gloucestershire. Yet there are only 107 young carers currently being supported in the North Cotswolds and Sirencester, and only 20 are able to continue to enjoy the benefits of the group. I've had home visits before and I've seen the family dynamics and what goes on in the home and to see them there and see how, you know, how much they've got going on and how hard their life can be for them and then to see them in a group scenario where they're with other young people and they're just you know, they're letting loose and having fun. It's a complete, you know, it's a complete change for them. And many of these children can watch their mothers go through mental health, their fathers may attempt suicide, they may have to deal with that. They may have to walk in on substance overdoses, um, and we're very often putting in place skills that you wouldn't expect many adults to have to deal with. And it's not just the young carers who benefit. Eight-year-old Ollie Brennan attends the sessions every week. His mum, Rachel, suffers from severe depression and Ollie sometimes needs to take care of her and his 10-month-old sister. If I'm having a bad period, I really struggle to get out of bed, I struggle to get out. Um, he'll do things like remind me to get up, but he'll also understand if I'm having a bad day and I need to sleep. I mean, without the group and that, without young carers, so many children would suffer. Um, like I said in that, our young carers, although they can only take him from the group since he's eight, they've actually been involved in our lives since he was five or six. Gloucestershire Young Carers' main aim is to reduce the impact that a caring role has upon a young person, ensuring they can reach their full potential in spite of their challenges at home. Megan Archer, Wilson Gloss Standard.